Hey guys, look what just rolled in. It is the new Dayton Audio DTA 120BT Class D mini amplifier with Bluetooth. I'm really excited about this and I can't wait to test it. What are we gonna go do? Well, we're gonna open this thing up to show you everything that it comes with, look at the build quality, and then of course, we gotta test it out on some speakers. So guys, stay tuned, that's coming up now. Double digit All right, here it is, the DTA 120BT. It is the Class D mini amplifier, 60 watts per channel, and it has Bluetooth built in. So let's take a look and see what this actually comes with. Well, of course, it comes with a user's manual, just like all of these. It does tell a little bit about the amplifier. It tells you a little bit about everything that it comes with as far as the inputs, and then it does also tell you a little bit about this, and I found this pretty amazing. If you read this, it says it has Bluetooth 4.1 with AptX technology. That is fantastic. If you have Bluetooth on it, you want it to have AptX. Now, the thing that I found really awesome, though, was this. Audio file quality sound with less than 0.01% total harmonic distortion. That is amazing. Anytime you read that THC, that's what that stands for, total harmonic distortion. Less than 0.01% is definitely audio file quality. Now, there is a caveat to that. That's assuming that you're using it at 40 watts, and I'm assuming below 40 watts as well. But that's amazing, 0.01%. All right, let's see what else we got in here. All right, we got this package, and this is some nice foam that they packaged it on. And here it is. Oh, yeah, look at that. That thing is, uh, that's nice. All aluminum. All right, you know what? We're going to look a little bit more in detail on this in a minute, but let's uh, let's see what all comes with it before we look too much into detail on that. All right, comes with another phone piece, and then it comes with, oh, wow, all right. comes with a box inside the box. All right. Let's see what this box actually comes with. Oh, wow. I thought this was just going to be the power supply, but look, there's even more. Ah. Oh. See, now this is the thing that I love about Dayton. Dayton usually goes kind of above and beyond whenever you look at it. Their build quality is usually, I think, great. And uh, they really thought of everything. So let me show you what these are. This is a one quarter inch headphone adapter. Now, why is, do you need that? Well, if you take a look at it, this actually has a headphone input, but it's for one quarter inch headphone. And a lot of us don't use a one quarter inch headphone. Now, if we have high quality headphones or hi-fi headphones then they are typically a quarter inch however some of us use some that use just a normal 3.5 millimeter input so that we can use them on our phone or so that we can use them on our other audio devices and if you want to use that you're going to need an adapter and that's what this is this is an adapter that adapts it from one quarter inch back to mini and so now you can take your normal headphone jack like so and plug it right in so now you can use any headphones on this particular unit. That's really cool. I love that they added that. That's usually a piece you have to buy extra. All right, and they also include these, and guys, man, this is awesome. Now, these aren't the highest quality banana plugs by any means. However, they are the screw terminal, and if you guys watched my uh, differences between banana plugs, you know that I like these a lot. And one of the things that is cool is this actually has banana plug terminals on the back. Now, if you're gonna hook something up like this, you're probably not going to run speaker wire to it, although you can. You're going to want banana plugs. This is a nice quality amplifier, and so you're going to want to plug in your banana plugs back here. Now, the way these work, just put speaker wire in, screw this down, and now you have an end. And it's got one for both your right and left speaker. That is great that they include those. Good job, Dayton. I am loving the adding of the accessories. Now, guys, the accessories probably don't cost a lot for Dayton necessarily to add. However, it's amazing that they thought of it. I, I, I just love that they did that because you're going to need to get some of those no matter what. Most of you guys are not going to have the one quarter inch to 3.5 millimeter jack. Oh, look at this. More accessories. All right. I, I'm impressed. I, I, I am impressed. It, you know, this is just the level of quality that most people don't think about when they buy amplifiers or when they sell them is that you're going to need some of these accessories this is cool this is a 3.5 millimeter jack you can plug this into your computer you can plug this into your phone and the thing that i like about it is it can sit right next to the amplifier it is right angles which is nice because it takes up less room on the amplifier and it is also extendable so it's got this accordion style cord you guys that are old enough will remember a lot of phone cords that were like this 
and you can move that back and forth so that you have the length of the cord, but you don't have to worry about the cord getting all wrapped up around everything else. I like that. That's pretty cool that they included that. And they also include this. This is cool. These are RCAs to mini. So once again, if we have, uh, like say a mini out, like a 3.5 millimeter out from like our cell phone or our television or something of that nature, we can plug this into here and now we have RCAs. And the reason why that's so cool is because sometimes you're going to want something connected all the time. Well, that connection is usually going to be connected on the back of the amplifier. Now the back of this amplifier only has RCA inputs. So now you can still use the rear input with any type of connection at all and you don't have to worry about buying another cable like a 3.5 to RCA cable. That's really nice. Guys, I, I, the one thing that I really like about them is they have really thought about everything that you need for this amplifier and I like that a lot. That's actually a lot. Let's see what else comes with it. Okay, so it does come with, of course, your power cord and your power supply. The power supply is a 24 volt 5 amp. So if we do some math, 2 times 5 is 100, 4 times 5 is 20, that's 120 watt power brick, um, which is what they say it goes up to. So there you go. You have your power brick, you've got everything that you need as far as accessories, <clears throat> and I gotta say so far that's what's really impressed me is that it comes with everything. Let's take a little bit of a look on the amplifier itself and show you some of the features of the amplifier. All right, so let's look at the front of the amplifier itself. First thing you're gonna notice is, of course, that headphone jack that we went over. It also has a 3.5 millimeter jack on the front. I love that because that's for a quick connection. So something like your cell phone or something that you wanna connect really quickly, but you don't wanna to have to leave it up all the time. They have one of those right here in the front. It's pretty amazing. That means that there is actually three inputs on this amplifier. There is the 3.5 millimeter input here. There is the RCA input on the back. And of course, there is Bluetooth input, which is shown right here with the pair button and also the LED. The LED will show you when it's connected and the pair button, of course, allows you to pair it to your phone. Now, one thing that you will not notice right off the bat is a power button. Most amplifiers have a power on and off. Now, this one does it a little bit different and this is one of the things that I really appreciate. For any of you guys that watch my video on how to build an amplifier, you're gonna have noticed that I use what they call a switching potentiometer. Now, this volume control is called a potentiometer and this, is the power button. If you hear that click, that's turning this on and you can turn your volume now. And then when you roll it all the way down and it get to like a sticking point and if you push it past that, it shuts off the amplifier. That is really cool. I love that. And it saves a little bit of space on the amplifier, which is really small. So I really appreciate that. All right, let's take a look at the back. So the back is pretty cool. It does have your Bluetooth amplifier. The case, if you can't tell, is all aluminum. It's very nice. It does have your rubber feet on here so you don't have to worry about it sliding. And honestly, as far as quality goes, it's really nice. It's got a great place for DC 24 volt, which is what we got with the unit. And I gotta say, so far, I, I really, really like it. Yes, I did. 
So what's my first hand impressions with this amplifier? Dayton Audio has come out with a lot of nice new products, uh, including the MK402s, which are Dayton Audio speakers. If you d didn't see the review yet, those were the speakers I recently did a review on. And I tested those first with the Lapai amp, and now I tested it with, with this. And I can tell you that there is definitely an appreciable difference by listening to it with this versus the Lapai. Now, there's nothing wrong with the Lapai. In fact, most of you guys liked it with that Lapai, but you can tell that this is definitely a cleaner amplifier. It is produces much cleaner sound out of it, and because of that, I got a really, really amazing experience. And I would encourage anyone that was looking at like a two-channel setup, especially for music, uh, someone that was maybe doing a two-channel setup for, for the record player or something of that nature, this is actually a really powerful, good amplifier, assuming that it works within your wattage specifications. It's also very, very small, which makes it very compact to put into a nice listening environment. So music was very, very clear. But one of the things that I did with this is I actually hooked this up to my telephone, listened to some Bluetooth, and watched a movie on it. In fact, I watched the opening scene of Transformers and also Mad Max Fury Road, which just sound fantastic opening scenes typically. And I hooked them up to those MK402s, and with that soundstage especially, just enveloping you and doing that near field sound, oh, it was just amazing. I really could tell that there was no distortion in it at all. You could hear all the minute little details. I was very, very impressed with the output and sound quality of these. It's also important to notice that it was a lot more powerful than the Lapai, than the Lapai as well, and that could show, especially in the bass region, when we were playing those speakers. So would I recommend this? Absolutely. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video review, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. I always enjoy seeing that. And don't forget to comment in the section below. I love hearing with you guys and interacting with you. So if you have any questions or any concerns, please leave them in the section down below, and I will make sure to get to those right away. Thanks, guys, and until next time. Double digit thousand.